Welcome, everyone. Today, we're going on a super fun, creative adventure. We're going to learn how to make a printable children's storybook using the amazing power of ChatGPT and the super user-friendly Canva website. Look at this. Isn't it cute? We're going to create something just like this together, step by step. All right. The very first thing we need is a fantastic story. So, let's head over to ChatGPT. This is like having a super smart AI friend who can help us write anything. I'm going to ask it to write for me a short story for kids to learn something useful about a grasshopper. It's that simple. You can even get more creative with your prompts later. But for now, we'll keep it easy. Wow. Look at that. ChatGPT has come up with a lovely little story about a grasshopper. Let's see what adventure it has in store for us. Now, to keep our story organized, I'm going to copy this entire story and paste it into a Google Doc. This will make it easy for us to grab the text later when we're designing our book in Canva. Okay, story in hand. Now, let's go over to the wonderful world of Canva. This is where we'll bring our story to life with awesome designs. Once we're here, we're going to search for storybook. You can go with a ready template and customize it yourself. Or you can create a new one. We'll create a new one. Now, We'll click on the Create Blank option. This will open up a page that's already set to a good size for our storybook. How handy is that? First things first, let's make our page nice and colorful. We're going to change the page background. I think this color looks bright and cheerful for a children's book. What do you think? Now, to make our pages look even more exciting, we're going to add frames where we can put cool pictures related to our story. Let's head over to the elements section right here. And then we'll open up the frame section. After that, let's search for blob. I really like these fun, wiggly shapes for picture frames in children's books. Look at all these different shapes. I think this one will be perfect. You can choose any shape you like, though. Next up, let's get our story onto the page. We'll add the first part of our story as text. There we go. Now, let's make this text easy and fun for kids to read. We're going to change the font. I think Comic Sans is a great, playful font for children's books. What do you think? Now, I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the pages in our book. I'll add more blank pages and then copy and paste the next parts of our story onto each page, making sure to arrange the text nicely. All right, our page is looking great. Now, for the next exciting step, adding illustrations that directly relate to our grasshopper story. We're going to use Canva's free image generator for this. On the left side here, you'll see an app section. Let's click on that. Then, we'll scroll down until we find Magic Media. This is Canva's AI image generator. Now, depending on our story, I'll type in prompts like a happy grasshopper in a field, grasshoppers playing together, or whatever fits the scene on each page. And let's keep that playful style. Now, let's see what it creates. Wow, look at these fantastic images. This one of the grasshopper described the image will be perfect for this page. See how easily we can add the picture right into our frame. It fits perfectly. See, it's just repeating the same easy steps for each part of the story. Okay, story is on the pages, but let's make it even more visually appealing. We're going to add some fun decorations. Let's go back to the elements section. I'm going to continue adding more interesting shapes and images to the rest of the pages, making some of them semi-transparent to create cool effects. Maybe some blades of grass or colorful flowers. Get creative with it. Now I'm going to use magic media again to create images for the other parts of our story. Maybe a close-up of our grasshopper, the grasshoppers it meets, and the setting of our story. And there we have it. 
Our grasshopper story is written and illustrated. Now for the final magical touch, turning it into a flipbook. To do this, we're going to click the share button up here. Then, we'll scroll down and click on more. Keep scrolling until you see the design section, and then we're going to choose simple booklet flip. Go ahead and click that. And then, we'll press save. This will take us to a third-party website that will turn our Canva design into a cool, page-flipping book. Ta-da! Look at that! Our Grasshopper Storybook has been created. And the best part? We can actually flip through the pages like a real book. Isn't that amazing? We've gone from a simple idea to a complete, interactive children's book starring our little grasshopper, all thanks to ChatGPT and the creativity of Canva. Now, it's time to export our book on our computer so that we can print it. The Simple Booklet website is a paid website that is not free. If you want to export this storybook, you have to pay a subscription to this website. If you want to download the storybook for free, you have to watch the entire video. Now, we are going to export the book on our computer for free. Let's do it. Go back to the Canva website. Click share from the top right corner. Click download and follow the next steps. Now go to flipbooklet.net. Upload the downloaded Canva file. Convert the file. Our book is downloaded. Let's preview it. If you want to see the downloaded storybook from our computer, let me show you the file also. I hope you guys enjoyed this creative tutorial featuring our bouncy grasshopper friend. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more fun and easy design projects. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.